you miserable old snagger tooth jackass. <laughs> you ignorant old bum. <laughs> you beady head old pickle eyed fool. <laughs> you are unholy sinner and a heathenish foul Philistine. <laughs> you being eaten by her. You know, that's what really Christians are about sometimes. Do you really know what a true Christian really is? A lot of times we look at true Christians and we think a nice, biblical, friendly person. That's the way Jesus wanted it. When you look at Christ, Christ always helped his fellow man. He never talked about him behind his back. He never ridiculed them, laughed at them, put them down. Even though you would talk about Christ, but he would already know what you're going to say about him. You know, a lot of times, a lot of Christians read the Bible, but do you really know what it means inside that book? You see a lot of Christians walk by you and won't even talk to you. I won't even smile. I welcome you in the church when you come into church. That's not a true Christian. That's not what Jesus wanted. Jesus never walked by anybody and didn't speak to him. So when you do that, do you really think you're a true Christian? Or are you a phony? That's the question I'm raising today. Because I know a lot of Christians, including myself. But when Jesus walked the earth, he would never walk by you and not greet you. And I try to help you. Jesus was a loving person. A loving spirit. A loving being. He even knew when people were going to backstab him like Judas. And he's already forgiven him. People looked at him in awe because he, they used to wonder what is he talking about when he said there's going to be somebody that's going to betray him. You see preachers all day long. Spiritually putting people on their back. And sometimes Christians, they just don't understand sometimes. I believe that the Lord tonight has set you free. Yes, sir. Turn around and tell those people. Tell them. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said, women, I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will, I will love a woman. Now, li listen to it. Y'all praise God with him. L hold on, wait a now, minute. somebody believe God with him. You know, even after being healed, even after getting touched by the Holy Ghost, in the next 10 minutes, Christians would go back to being the way they were. Go back ignoring you, going back not speaking to you, not helping you. When you try to reach your hand out to shake their hand, they walk by you like you're crap. That's not right. That's not Jesus' way. After you have that Holy Spirit and you're happy and you're excited, you come back to him later and it's like, it's not the same person. It's like all the love shot out of him. You know, when people walk this earth, they say 67% of regular people that are non-Christians are more friendlier than Christians. 
Do you know they said Christians commit more crimes than non Christians? It's just something not right she about put that. In on this man. Been to get a receipt, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker. Even today, when you extend your hand out to the pastors, you really don't know who to trust. Because so many preachers and pastors have been caught doing ungodly things, taking money from people. Not putting it into the church, but putting it into their cell. Thugs, gang members, trying to save your life by preaching to you when their heart is not right. It's a lot of that going on in America. That's why you got to be careful of how you receive God if you're a true Christian. Because it can sway you. That's why a lot of true Christians aren't Christians. A lot of them are behind bars. A lot of them pretend like they're friendly and they're your friend, but they're not. A lot of them, you see it. They ignore you. You see the evil side in them. They were great one minute. The next day, they're evil. That's not a true Christian. That's not the way Jesus wanted you to live. He wanted you to accept your fellow man, to help him. A fisherman of men, bring him into the church. You think if I extended my hand to God and to Jesus Christ that he would ignore me when I really need him? That's why when you see people do that today, they're not true Christians. They want to flaunt their money around and brag about how much money they got. Do you think Jesus would have done that? That's how you can tell who's a real Christian and who's not. Think about God. Think about what Jesus would have done. Sometimes you ask people for help around here and you don't get it. But you get them bragging about their self, their wealth. True Christians, you think like in today's society, a true Christian will see a guy laying there in the middle of the street dead? You think a true Christian would just stand there and stare at him without helping him? What has gotten into this world not wanting to help your fellow man? I've had friends who are true Christians believe in burning the cross. They said, what's wrong with it, burning the cross? These are your real Christians. Who talks like that? A true Christian wouldn't want to burn a cross. That's why Moses got angry. Because a true Christian shouldn't idolize a false god. That's why Moses do the Ten Commandments on him and destroyed everything. Because in his mind, he couldn't find a true Christian. That's why when I sit there and look at everything, I turn around and look at you guys. This is Egg Dog Production. If you enjoyed this video, watch the next two. That's me right there, looking back at you. See you later.